Welcome back to Emiliano Parfum. Today we got a 2019 release from Mason, Mason Margiela, Coffee Break. So we got Coffee Break here, 2019. Mason Mar Margiela. Same people that make by the fireplace and jazz club. So when you get this uh, fragrance, or when you first smell it, you're gonna get like, it's gonna be like the sensation that you're around coffee. You're not gonna get like the, the coffee up front. It's not very direct. You're gonna smell hints of it. What it does smell like really is like, I don't wanna say like a cafe, but it smells like the sweetness that the, the coffee drinks emit, uh, like from the lattes and things like that. It's like you're around that sweetness but not, you're not directly smelling like the, the grounds or the bean. Now, it also has like a, a milky aspect. And I was looking at the notes earlier and it has tonka bean, uh, but it also has milk. So I did, you know, I was able to pick that up with my nose, which is a good job. And it also has orange blossom at the top with pepper. And I don't really pick that up, uh, especially, you know, I've worn this maybe two or three times now during the day and I'll give it a go again just to see if I pick it up, but I don't think that I will. Also, can we just say, did you see that atomizer for like a travel spray? That was pretty good. So that's also a plus. So we'll see here if I pick up the orange blossom or the pepper. So I'm not quite getting orange blossom uh, or pepper. What I can say is, excuse me, I am getting hints of pepper, but faint and very, very faint. And I think the point of that is to get across the, the fuzziness that comes from when you smell a coffee bean, or maybe not the fuzziness, but the bitterness that you pick up when you smell that coffee bean. So you have, you've got that going on. And as well as you, you've got lavender somewhere hidden in the middle with coffee and milk. Now, uh, and when I mention lavender, I just wanna say, that's what they say that's there, but I'm not really able to pick it up, or at least not in the way that I'm able to pick it up in things like uh, Layton and other fragrances that mention having lavender. So, um, again, the coffee and the milk is there. But they also have tonka bean, which adds that creaminess, which you could think about maybe like half and half or, or heavy, heavy cream when you put it in your coffee. So that creaminess that that's kind of like uh, the heavy whipping cream or something like that that you put into a coffee uh, can be attributed to the, the tonka bean and mixing in with the milk as well. It's kind of a creaminess, like if you've ever smelled, for example, Alorum Sport Extreme, or one of the the wise with tonka bean the uh the le parfum it's that sort of creaminess and it's blended very well with the with the milk to produce that kind of i don't want to say lac, lac lactic lactose it's that kind of dairy effect there you go you know what i mean and now moving down um into the base you've got vanilla and vetiver and i'm sure there's another wood in there or another earthy kind of smell and that really helps the longevity of the fragrance because let me tell you when i was when i was testing this out this thing was on me i want to say like nine hours and i don't mean like a nine hours like this thing was a beast and it was like going out um, because after about two hours, maybe an hour and 45 minutes, it, it came to maybe like this distance off my skin. And then afterwards it became a skin scent, but it was still there and it was obvious that it was there. And as the time kept going, once the, the top like bitter fuzziness went away and maybe the hint of the orange blossom that's there goes away, what really ends up lasting there a long time is the milk or the milky aspect and the vanilla for the most part with, with the hints of like the earthiness from the vetiver. So that ends up lasting there for a really long time, uh, maybe like six hours into the fragrance. 
and it's really pleasant it's very nice it's very um, it's like a cozy kind of kind of feeling it's not too um, sweet or too like aggressive with with the sweetness and the projection so you could you could pull it off um, in the hotter weather I wouldn't really recommend it it's more of like a like a spring but like early spring fall kind of fragrance um, I don't think it also I don't think it's suited for the winter either I don't think it's potent enough but I haven't tried it in the winter so I can't tell you for sure maybe it is but fall and spring for sure fall and spring so back to the, the longevity longevity is great it's amazing like the way it just stayed there with me and uh, once the milk uh, was gone it was this just really pleasant vanilla smell and it wasn't like like a fragrancy vanilla it's more like when people talk about uh, I don't know let's say Givenchy pie um, and that sticks to your skin and it doesn't project a lot it um, it's not the same kind of vanilla smell this vanilla feels more more realistic or at least closer to what vanilla actually smells like it smells like the vanilla from um, the spice bomb extreme just not as as um, shooting out not as not as aggressive um, but so it has the vanilla like spice bomb but with the closest to the skin of the jiwanshi pie i'm looking up because i'm trying to remember the name because it's right there so uh, if you're wondering, that's why. Now the projection from the performance, um, the projection wasn't fantastic, but that's okay. Uh, not every fragrance, you don't always need every fragrance that you have to be a beast. And maybe you're one of those more cozy type of fragrance people that you don't really want everyone to smell you. So that's okay. I'm sure if you blast this, like any other fragrance that exists on the planet, if you blast it enough, someone's going to smell you, um, even from very far away. But you don't need to do that. And this does not accomplish that. So if you're looking for that, I wouldn't go for this. Um, maybe if you want a coffee fragrance that does shoot out that much, like I, I mentioned before, the um, Ferragamo Womo or the Womo Intense, or you can try uh, Montal Intense Cafe. The I can tell you for sure the regular one. I don't know about the Ristretto. I haven't smelled it. Um, and that also gives like a similar vibe apart from the roses that you get later so nevertheless uh, this is a very good fragrance in terms of the longevity projection not so much now occasion I mentioned uh, the weather already so any occasion you can think of in that weather whether it's outside or inside I think this would be appropriate for um, although specific to those weather uh, weather climate weather you know those weather numbers or climates um, and it is specific to those it's still versatile in that it can fit into any one of those activities that you do for that time and so like i mentioned with the azaro fragrance this does feel like like a dynamic fragrance you know with the changing and that's nice it's nice sometimes when you have a fragrance that's going through phases and switching on you and you're not getting the same thing um you know over and over you know where to get this place the regular old retailers uh, maybe not the m retailer don't look the letter m i'm not gonna mention their name unless they want to pay me and then i'll mention their name otherwise no um so you can get it there uh at the the makeup places there you go so that's it that is mason margella coffee break i absolutely recommend it i'm gonna give it a four out of five for me i think it's you know it's it's up there as one of my favorite sweet fragrances so Thanks for watching. Thank you so much. Have a good day.